summer day on a lake, multicolored clouds. Oh, wow. Okay. She is going to be walking us through the new Adobe Express beta. We're really excited about the all new beta. We have an all new user interface now, so you can really just see any type of project that you're looking to create. You can find that quickly and easily, whether you're creating for social media, creating for marketing purposes, if you have you know documents, really incredible abilities to import PDFs and enhance them, edit them, add images, add your logo. I've made this little happy summer signage in Illustrator. I have all my layers here. I have different shapes. All my layers are here. And what I'm gonna do is bring that right into Adobe Express. So I'm just gonna drag it. I'm gonna open it in the editor. And when I click here, all of my layers. Create though is a Instagram square post to start. Resize this, create a different background, remove this layer. And then why don't we generate an image together? So let's do text to image. We want square. Summer day on a lake multicolored clouds. Let's see what we get. Oh, wow. Okay. We have a number of variations here. Maybe I'm going to go with this one. Set this as my background. Easily just select this and I can actually just really easily resize that and bring it up there. I liked this font in Illustrator, but I think I actually want to add some text effects. I might actually ask you, Liz, to give me a prompt. Maybe like white and yellow petals. Flower okay. petals might help it. Okay, pretty. And we can try nice. different variations of it too. Add maybe a little bit of a shadow. I think I want to add some animation. Go to elements and let's search birds. Here, we'll bring it behind. Add some animation as well. Kind of make them look a little bit like they're flying around. We can do a little bob animation. And then you can see here that it's our timeline. It's immediately turned into a motion project now and I can add a scene. I can add video and audio if I wanted to. I want to create a few more sizes of this. Let's see what happens when I go into resize. So this is an Instagram square post. I think I want to create an Instagram story, maybe a reel, maybe a Facebook post of a YouTube thumbnail. Duplicate and resize. Amazing that you can and do them then, all in one go as well. Yeah. That's when changing assets, is the replace button gone? And Sandrine very helpfully pointed out that it's now a double arrow on yes. the top left of the screen. It, absolutely. There is a replace button. It is right here. One other thing I'll mention is as you're working through your different pages in your project, you can also rename the individual pages as well. Bring in a canoe, maybe let's say canoe on a lake. Maybe I want to do graphic style for this one. Oh, nice. Okay. I like this one. You could cut out the background so it's exactly. into your image. Yeah, nice. So All we can the features do features working background. together. If I wanted to go in, I could refine that, really just sort of refine the edges there. If there was anything extra that happened to show up that I didn't want, I could go in and make those adjustments. Just super easy in terms of uh, the ability to remove background and really just make it your own and kind of add whatever you want. Thank you so much for joining us.